Hello, I am Angela. I am Chaotic Neutral and Dog. Hello. This is my Pan That slash Those palette slash eyeshadows. I combined the two projects in one video just because I like it better that way. We'll start with my Pan That palette. I call this the Sweet Rainbows palette. It is a combination of shadows from ColourPop's Chasing Rainbows and shadows from Colourpop Sweet Talk palette. It's called the Sweet Rainbows because a lovely subscriber suggested it to me and I liked it. I thought it was cute. And there's also now one shadow from Brown Sugar from Colourpop. But everything in here is a Colourpop shadow. Let's just fess up right now. No new pan. So this is Jamocha from Brown Sugar which I had hit pan on last year previously. So I didn't do all of this damage in this year I did it last year but I used it like a ton so I used Wiggles a ton and Jamocha a bunch and I think I expanded the pan really well there here take a moment I'll pop up the numbers yeah and I think I expanded the pan on blurred lines as well at least I've made the area around the pan shallower. I think I'm starting to see dips. So the past updates, I really wasn't noticing dips in a lot of the shadows, except for Feel Free down here. I think I'm gonna hit pan on Feel Free next, if you can see. But I'm starting to see dips in Meadow and in Melody. And I'm starting to see like prism start to be more of a smoother dip. It That hole there was from when I was depotting the Chasing Rainbows palette. I accidentally stabbed it with a safety pin. And now I'm starting to get like a more smooth dip. So that's exciting. I used prism in my eyebrows and I used it in my look today. The other shadows from here that I used today, I used Jamocha. You know, in my transition, blurred lines in my very inner corner, wiggles to buff the edges and things like that. I'm loving my palette. I'm glad I'm getting more use out of some of the shades. Like, I'm trying to use Meadow more and Melody a lot more. I only used Eclipse once, so that's my bad. I really want to try Finish Eclipse, but I don't think that's going to happen. And I just want to finish Eclipse because I have dupes in my collection, like several dupes, so. But that's my Pan That palette. Kira, you want to get up or no? Here, she'll say hi. Hi. This is not what you wanted, isn't it? That's my Pan That palette. I, like I said, I'm loving it. It's a great palette, like pinky neutral palette. I'm glad I'm getting more use out of Jamocha now that I switched it in because I'm much more motivated now with the goal to finish Jamocha instead of hitting pan on West Side since they were both so similar. I'd rather finish one shadow than have two pans in the same shadow basically. So that's my pan that palette side of the project. Let's begin with my pan those eyeshadows. I always do six eyeshadows and I start from the ones I use the least to the ones I used the most. And the ones I use the least, first, okay, so I didn't get as much use out of this shadow as I have in other months. So this is love right now. I used it three times. There's a dip happening, but it's going to take a really long time for me to hit pan on this one. Oh, look how gross the back is getting. Yucky, yuck. Anyways, the front is where it's at. But yeah, I'm starting to get a dip in love. I didn't get as much use because in my pan, those eyeshadows, a few of like the pinky shadows rolled out. And I've been trying to use Meadow more from my Pan That palette. It's not like they're the same, but I would use them in the same position. Like I would, they'd have the same job. So I've done looks mixing Meadow and Love together, but I usually like to pick one over the other, like more pinky or more purpley pinky look. So yeah, I was trying to use Meadow a bit more. Love, only used it three times, but it's okay. 
I like having this palette in my project. The other shadow I used the least was my Too Faced shadow, which I depotted. I depotted this Too Faced shadow from the Pretty Rich palette that my in-laws gave me, and I, I didn't want the palette, and it was really bulky, so I depotted it and saved some of the shadows that survived and put them in my singles palettes. And the one, I used it three times, and it's in my look today underneath the other shadow that's in my project. And it's Don't Care at All. So a little dip forming. It's like, I'm realizing I have way too many honey gold shadows in my collection. I guess it's a popular shadow. They just put it in so many palettes. You can see it's below Boro New, which was from the project last year. And it looks so similar in the pan to Borrow New. So it'd be, I should compare them. I don't know why I haven't swatched them all together. Oh, let me, let me swatch in my hand right now. Like I'll do the keep hand and the get out of here hand. So there's love and don't care at all. Doing great. Only three uses on those. I wasn't able to do a lot of makeup this past month. I haven't been able to do makeup like I used to because of student teaching. Student teaching ends for me in May, and I'm looking forward to having a break. Oh, having a break sounds so good. <laughs> the next shadow that I use the least is... Da -da -da, da -da 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 Baywatch from ColourPop's Main Squeeze. So I used it five times, and you can see it there. There's a dip but not much else. It's a cute color. It's this dark red shimmer. Um, I think the number is only five because when I use this, I often had to touch up my look again because it's like a dark shimmer. It's more noticeable when it creases. I didn't do that many makeup looks. So a lot of my numbers are high because I had to touch up the shadows. So I would wear my makeup all day and once it wore away a little bit, I'd touch it up again and I'd count that as a use. I'm very happy that this palette is going to have so many pans in it. That makes me very excited. But yeah, Baywatch, cute. You're cutie. I love it. Next, shadows. Oh wait, I need to... Ah, la, la, la. All right, there's a swatch for Baywatch. So the next shadow I use the least is On One. So Baywatch I used five times. On One is from the Chasing Rainbows palette, which I depotted. And it is this blue shimmer right here. It's depotted in my Colorful Singles palette. And that's on, on One right there. Look at me go. I'm not a blue eyeshadow queen. That's not who I am. So I'm really proud of myself for getting these blue shadows and rolling them out. Honestly though, I've been lucky. Both of these blue shadows had either a crack in them or a dip in them already. I like the looks that I used in it. It is fallouty, it's creasy. Not my favorite shadow in the whole world, but the color is super pretty. Like. I liked that color, that dark blue shimmery color. Super pretty color, not the best formula. There's On One. Look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like I'm a mermaid going out on the town and like I'm going clubbing and I'm a mermaid. That's, that's what I feel. I feel clubbing mermaid. Not clubbing a mermaid, I'm a mermaid going clubbing. Okay, I feel Black Cauldron, the movie, looking at this. I feel Mermaid going clubbing and Black Cauldron, the movie, and the witches in that movie. Cypress Umber is the next one. I used it six times. Cypress Umber is in my Depotted Singles Neutral palette, and it is right here. Cypress Umber is originally from the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia. And see that giant pan? The panning universe gave me the shadow where I was like, I could definitely hit pan easy because there was already a big dip in it. Modern Renaissance was the second palette I've ever bought and I used it a bunch. Anastasia mattes are powdery. 
This is a dark brown. You can use it so often. It's not in my look today because I'm using, I'm trying to hit pan <laughs> on a shadow in my A to Z project pan. It's an A to Z project with my single eyeshadows. And right now I have Fudge in my look. Fudge is from Anastasia's Subculture. But I did use Cypress Umber as I would have used it today. Instead, I have Fudge. And I have Prism in darkening up my look too. The reason I hit Pan though, even though I would have totally, probably the next use would have hit Pan, but I am trying to as a lobby know, be a little bit more environmentally conscious. I'm trying to find ways to either be able to reuse a container easily or recycle it easily. And in certain cases, I'm trying to see if I even need the product at all. One of the things I looked up a recipe because I was like, it has to be easy to create an eyebrow gel. Like it can't be that complicated. And I like eyebrow gel. I like what it does, but I feel like every time I use it, it feels like the product goes away so fast. And then you have this like whole, you have these little things, like I can't reuse this. I'm gonna reuse this like spoolie thing or the eyebrow gel I made. This is the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. And this is my second one and it feels like I'm already almost done with it, even though I didn't get it that long ago. So eyebrow gel is something that I'm like, I don't want to spend the money on it. It's in these containers that aren't easy to reuse or recycle, I think. But anyways, I made my own eyebrow gel and I haven't tried it yet because I plan to do like a first impressions video, my first first impressions video. And I want to try my eyebrow gel in that. This is what it looks like right now. It looks like pudding and I really want to eat it. I really want to eat it. And I'm not just saying that like it looks so edible. I put some of Cypress Umber in that and this mixture and some of Prism from my Pan That palette. And we're gonna see how it looks. I can't really tell you yet, but that counts to me. I hit Pan on this. I would have hit Pan even if I didn't make an eyebrow gel, but that dark brown is perfect for my eyebrows and that's what I wanted. Oh, when did I hit Pan on Cypress Umber, you ask? I hit Pan on it after five uses, so I used it six times in total, but I hit pan after five, and I hit pan on April 24th. I'm like losing my marbles. Marbles have been lost. Do you remember in Hook the movie? There's Cypress Umber, just a chocolatey dark matte brown, and I did combine these shadows together in a look in like a video, and I liked it. It was cute. This Next shadow is from my Morphe Such a Gem 39S palette. And I will be, let me just show you. It's Catch the Light, and I used it eight times this past month. And that's what it's looking at like right now. Do you see the pan? Do you see that little pan? In my year plus, so I've been doing this for over a year now, and I've panned a lot of eyeshadows. In my time of panning eyeshadows, I have never been shocked to hit pan. And today I hit pan on it. I decided, I already had planned, I'm gonna do a neutral eye look with a bright lip because as much as I whine about neutral eyeshadows rolling into my project, I forget that I can then like, kick it out of the park with my lip color. I have never been surprised about hitting pan. I did not expect to hit pan and catch the light today at all. I really didn't. I used it, it's on my lid, a little bit below my lid, and it's on top of Don't Care At All, that honey gold. I'm not into the honey goldish color though. It's a great metallic, so to tone down the orangey yellow color of the honey gold, I put Catch the Light on top and that's what I've been doing with a bunch of neutral looks. And that's what I did today. And I just, when the pan showed up, I thought it was like a big flaky. Like, you know, you, you see these are really like toppery shades and sometimes they're 
like flakyish, and I literally went to try to like break the flake in half and I was like oh my god it's the pan that was exciting <laughs> it's exciting when that happens and I didn't expect it but I'm so happy I already have pan in this after eight uses this was another shadow where I had used it a bunch before I probably used it 10 times or more before this rolled in because it's just this cute neutral sparkly topper shadow these are the three that are rolling out on one from chasing rainbows cypress umber from modern renaissance and catch the light from morphe's such a gem palette and these are the three that are still staying in love from colourpop sailor moon don't care at all from Too faced pretty rich and baywatch from colourpop's main squeeze let's see what the three new ones will be Super exciting. I'm so excited. I'm going to click on the button five times and then the numbers after those five, I'm gonna, they're gonna be the ones I pick from, okay? I don't know. I'm just gonna do it. So I'm gonna click on this five times, then the three numbers after those five times will be the shadows that roll in, okay? So one, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, and now these numbers will be the ones I roll in. Just doing it because I'm suspicious. Now we begin. 137, 137, okay. Ah! Oh my god, 137. 161, okay. I say okay too much. And 13. Did you see that? The shadow that's 13 is Cleonad's Flicker, which is up here. It has some shadow from other shadows in it up the top now. It's usually more like white. So let me maybe get that layer off. I'm not sad about Flicker being in. You can see it's like iridescent. I do love it. There's already a dip in it. And the Cleonad pans already start up, raised high. So the fact that I have a dip in Flicker tells you I really like it. I really do like it. It's a bummer though, because it is a pricey shadow, but I'm fine with it, you know? Like once I hit pan, there's still going to be a bunch of product left. It's like a pinky gold iridescent shadow. 137 is the next number. Amethyst Awe. It's from my Such A Gem palette. It might be in the part of the palette that I was actually craving for there to be a shadow that rolls in. Amethyst Awe is the third shadow in the second row. Oh my God. Okay, Amethyst Awe is that purple. I've used it before. I can't believe it. I was gonna mention that if another shadow rolled in from here, I would want it to be from a shadow from this corner. I was just wanting a pan over here to make it feel more balanced. Holy, that is a bright purple. Okay, let's swatch it. I've used this before and the shimmer is not that great. So maybe when I use it in looks, I could go through it fast because I'll have to build it up. Like right now, I've really had to build up this swatch. Sorry, the swatches are rough. I'm not a professional. But there's Amethyst Awe from the Such A Gem Morphe palette. You know I'm down for the color, but I am getting tired of this palette constantly rolling in. I had just rolled out Perlfection and then Catch the Light last month rolled in right after I rolled out Perlfection. And then I roll out Catch the Light and now Amethyst Awe is in. This palette, is probably going to be in suspension soon. I want to pan other palettes, okay? The last number is 161. Each please. It's from the Tarte palette. Tarte, be a mermaid and make waves. Each please should be this one. Each please looks like that. It's darker than Baywatch. Just a touch. But if I'm using them together in my project, I would use them the same. So I'm gonna not do Beach Please. 
thought about it. I have Baywatch in my project currently. And if I had both in the project, I would be using one over the other for sure. Sorry, Beach Please, another time. You're gorgeous, but you're too close to Baywatch for me. I like having a diverse pan those eyeshadows. 34. <gasps> 34 is for my Orange You Glide palette. Oh, hell yes. Okay, 34 is Sun Kissed from the Orange You Glide palette. Oh, okay. Um, pressed glitter was taken out. I repressed a Juvia's Place shadow that was cracking in my collection. It's from the Magic Mini, but there used to be a pressed glitter there. But what we just rolled in is Sun Kissed, which I've used before and love. It's a matte orangey yellow. I mixed in um, Cypress Umber on accident. So the swatch won't be true to color, okay? So the swatch might be slightly darker than it actually is because I have dirty, grimy fingers and I'm a gremlin. What? That's a lot. Ignore this swatch. We're not doing that one. Very Halloween in these last two for sure. And I'm loving it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm probably not going to hit pan on many of these. Next update might be lame. I'm so happy that this is in my project again, actually. Um, it's a beautiful palette and I was just the other day thinking how I haven't gotten a lot of use out of it because I've been so focused on my Pando's eyeshadows and I, I missed these colors. These have rolled out. Thank you very much. Your time is over and these are rolled in. Have a good day, everyone. I hope you're doing well mentally and physically. I hope you're keeping track of human rights movements and trying to help people when you can. Thank you so much for watching these videos. I appreciate it so much. I'm going to try to be a better YouTuber. <laughs> um, and I'm going to start trying to put in the description, like, the things on my face. I think that helps. And, like, if you're ever curious what's on my face, I'll try to put it in the description more now. I hope to put more videos up soon because student teaching is finishing. I'm so excited. I have to go. Bye. <laughs>